Hello everyone and welcome to Cyber War. My name is Victor. Today we're doing another video on Capture the Flag. We have a very nice uh, uh, box, a very easy one from Cyber Edu, a Romanian platform. So um, now I'm starting the video showing you how I uh, set up my uh, my tools. Here I am uh, starting a virtual machine in DigitalOcean to use as a proxy. I have it already saved as a snapshot and I use it and then I delete it. So it costs me like a dollar a month or two dollars a month to always have a fresh IP uh, and not use my home uh, IPs for because you, you get banned in Nakamai or wherever. You still want internet in the house. Although I have multiple connections, but still. It's the main one, so I'm not. Yeah, so here I'm connecting uh, to to the um, or to the IP, sorry, in uh, DigitalOcean with Putty, making a proxy. Then Burp goes through it, and then the browsers go through Burp. So this is the basic setup I have for Burp. Burp is the, Burp is the um, paid version, but it's not an issue. You can do this with anything with uh, Zap. Proxy. Okay, so here is the IP in the browser. So it shows as DigitalOcean. Um, this machine will be killed before the video is uploaded, so this IP will not be mine anymore. So don't do anything. It's just another DigitalOcean IP. And you are not allowed to test it. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the website. Uh, we're doing uh, this is a very basic uh, challenge. What it does, it starts an instance, and uh, I already did it, so I know the, the outcome, and it goes access denied. So, um, in the end, we will uh, receive a cookie from it, and we find a way to decode the cookie and to re-encode it, and change uh, something from false to true, and you're in. So that's the flag, basically. Uh, but let's see how, how we get there. So this is um, the burp part. This is the request, and this is the reply. As you can see, they created a session, and we have a, now a cookie here. Uh, this cookie we will decode. Uh, there's an issue with this cyber edu website uh, compared to try hack me meaning that their machines are stopping faster so I need to restart it like three times to do this video it keeps the IP but it changes the port so if you see a different port it's not a bug I didn't do anything wrong it's just that the website at some point it becomes unresponsive you need to restart it. not to restart it it kills the machine and you need to start it yourself again not ideal but yeah so I send it to repeater and here I try to get an error. Actually, I'm just going. And here is the first moment where, like, by the time I set everything up, <laughs> the machine was already stopped. All right. Um, what's next? Ah, sorry. Uh, so I restarted it. Where is it? Let me see. At some point, I replaced the cookie with another one. And it gives me a, like the the JWT token with another one, which is totally like it doesn't mean anything, but um, gives me an error, and I get the server and the fact that it's a flask thing, whatever. And then I'm puzzled, like because it's marked as a very easy challenge, and I Google it. I simply just Google the server then yeah Google gives me this flag this uh, I don't know like write up it's not the exact same thing but uh, basically you need to decode the cookie and uh, re-encode it but for that you need a, a password so uh, apparently there is a, a tool which is this one so it's called 
flask unsigned and if you read like if you read the the page on github for it you'll notice like it is written as basically it's a write-up for the for the challenge like all these commands here like the, the decode and the unsign and everything you get to use them like here for example this first command flask unsigned decode cookie it gives you this logged in false and this is exactly the result in our cookie so it they just took the point was to use the tool i guess uh, then like okay you you just decode the cookie not the server and then you do this command it works with uh, word lists it has a word list integrated and it finds the the the, the key and the key is password and you use it then to oh here to sign it and you change this to true and then you send it in burp and you're done but let's see how how we get there first time pulling my hairs because I'm not sure how to do make this work so um, I realize I need a like a, an Ubuntu or some kind of a Linux box and well the <laughs> the, the putty came in handy so <laughs> I just opened that and I'm installing mm -hmm. the tool in the uh, in the box we are using as a proxy shouldn't hurt so this is a rewind fast forward of the whole thing should be yeah it's faster than that. so basically here I'm installing the tool I have some issues I need to install a part of Python whatever it doesn't matter so uh, where are we here we are here it tells me it's not in the path uh, sorry yeah and I add it in the path okay um, then I try the first command with the server. Of course, it's, it's a mistake. And then yeah, okay. and then I I go for the next one. Of course, yeah. I change it to cookie and I paste it. I tried the IP first, it doesn't work. Then, okay, I need a cookie, I get it from there. Let's go. Okay, so at this point, I realize okay, hold on, this is exactly what they show me the tutorial for the app, so for this Flask thing. From there, it's smooth sailing. I, uh, I simply copy everything. Okay, so here I decode it, and then I decode only the cookie. Sorry, I use the um, this one unsign to to find the signature, which is password in our case. Just hit enter, it should work. On the side. Okay. Go. Yeah, so it found it. It's password. Brilliant. Now I'm I'm signing a cookie. Alright. So there's something wrong with the algorithm for this uh, JWT token and this app takes advantage of it and it, uh, basically yeah so what happened here ah again I had to restart it because burp wouldn't work I had to restart it It came weird with a bigger cookie. Now it was the, the other session, all right. So this one, I change it.
And here it was. Did you catch that? Let me play that again. Oh, here you go. That's the that's the flag basically. And the flag here. So um, there you have it. You're just um, you're just playing with the uh, with the tools, and, and this is a pretty basic one. But um, as a, if you want to like draw a few conclusions from this, you can use like virtual machines to make proxies, and you can burn through them really fast. And um, yeah, you, you use Burp or the browser or whatever they inspect. In the, I use this a lot also, and it should help. And in another news, Zwing will publish a video soon, but uh, we'll talk about that when that comes. Thank you so much for watching and.